everyone. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, we're going to get right into it with our monthly budget recap. So we're just going to kind of go over what happened in November, um, what actually happened versus what we had planned, and um, some month end like budget account rec reconciliation stuff. So our monthly budget, we had planned um, for our total income to be about 3400 and it actually ended up being 3550 ish so that's good. That's an extra $150 we didn't really plan on. Part of that was a reimbursement, um, but still we made a little bit more than we expected, so that's always good. As for our fixed expenses, they were all pretty much the same, except our electricity was a little lower and our trash and sewer was a little higher. Um, I know that I need to up the budget for that in coming months now because we also got a notice that there would be a 5% increase on that come the new year, so love that. Um, let's see... Everything for our necessary expenses remained the same. Our other expenses, we did have some differences. Uh, date night did not end up being $64.58. That's not because we spent more than our planned budget. That's because I forgot we had um, like negative from the month before. So we had to make up for that with this month's income. Um, so we did spend $40 and then we had that negative 14-ish dollars that we had to make up for. And then clothing, we spent a little less than we thought. We spent $33.38. I think I did that right. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's how much you spent there. And then uh, the same with everything else. So our planned income minus expenses was eighty six forty three, which any extra money we have is going to go toward our emergency fund. Um, but our actual income minus expenses was $231.98. So it's always good to see that you saved more or you were able to keep in your hands more than you had planned. Now, not all of this is spending, obviously. Some of this is savings and sneaking funds and stuff like that, but um, it's nice to see. So now we are going to go... I already did my transactions, so we don't have to go through that. I'm not sure you guys are enjoying seeing that, so if you are, let me know. I may make separate videos of that. Um, if not, then just also let me know, and I can exclude it from now on. Um, so I did balance our account, and these are all of the categories that we still have stuff in apologies for writing it so small and notoriously a notoriously small writer so we have our let me see if i can zoom in any we have our gas um we had seven dollars and 44 cents under budget so that's how much we had left we will roll that into the next month some months are heavier than others so that helps a lot auto maintenance we had 119 dollars uh, pet care 377 we do let that build up for their uh flea and tick medicine heartworm preventatives random vet visits, stuff like that. So their food is included in this category, but we do let it build up for those things. Health, which pays like our, our co-pays and stuff like that is, uh, or like if we need cold and flu medicine or whatever, um, we have $28 there. My fund money, I have $20. My little business fund, I have $38. My next purchase will be a scale so I can finally ship physical products. Connor, my, my husband's fund money has 40 cents left and I will let him keep those 40 cents. <laughs> House, uh, we have $70. Mortgage, we have the entirety of next month's mortgage saved up already. So December's mortgage is in the bank account right now. That won't be taken out till about the 10th of December. Um, electricity, we have $301 in that fund. I do like to keep these pretty buffed up um, just in case the event that we have a low income month, we can still cover our bills at least for a month or two so we have 301 in electricity we have 252 in gas that's the utility uh, we have water which, which gas we're building up because it's only like 30 to 40 dollars in the summer but in the winter I don't know what it's gonna be when it's super cold and we're running the heat all the time so we're letting that build up for sure water we have 230 trash we have 77 45 mint which is our cell phone we have 127 saved. I believe this one comes out December 30th. So um, if we have the money for it before then, we'll pay for it before then. But if not, we're here. Um, and then our buffer that we like to keep in our account just to make sure we can have some wiggle room if we want to spend our fund money before we actually have it or whatever is 200. So the total there is $2,924.40 that should be in our account for all of our um, things that we have that say it's there. Um, this is the total of our accounts. Um, we have two checking accounts. One of them uh, is our old one, which I'm supposed to be using for my business. 
nothing's really happening in there right now, but it's set aside for that. And then we have our main checking account. Um, there is money in the business account that needs to be moved to the checking account, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how to easily move money between the banks. So I'm going to need to get on the phone with them tomorrow. Tonight is Sunday night. I'm going to need to get on the phone with them tomorrow and figure out how to set up transfers easily because I'm not paying to send myself money and I'm also not going to flag myself with the IRS by sending myself 600 plus dollars, you know? Um, one moment, baby is crying. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So I'm not quite sure where we were. Um, we have a teething baby. He has seven teeth, thinking about eight. Um, so it's, it's been, it's been a challenge, but okay. So we have, uh, 5,100-ish that's supposed to be, uh, that is currently in our checking. And we have our amount that is allocated to there. So this basically helps me know, okay, this is how much I think I have in my bank account and this is how much I actually have. Now what's the difference? Am I wrong somewhere in my accounting? Do I need to take away from something because I've done something incorrectly? Um, so this just lets me know. Right now we have an overage of $2,182 in our checking account. This is for the emergency fund, but it's not quite been lumped in yet because as I mentioned, I haven't figured out how to transfer money between banks um the easiest way so i haven't been doing it so this is how much is in there that's for the emergency fund um we may increase our buffer a little bit just because we are um you know out here in the wilderness now of the outside world um but yeah that is what's going on with that okay so now that we're done looking at balancing the account we can go to our sinking fund tracker for the month so here's that let me get my calculator so i already went ahead and wrote the ending amounts for each one so we just have to go through and do our change i usually like to do them in different colors maybe i will Nah, i won't <laughs> so here we have a positive $28 change. Auto maintenance started 69, ended with 119.86. I go back and forth between doing rounding and including the cents, so bear with me with that. <laughs> so um, we had a positive $50 difference on that. For pets, we started with 279 and Ended with 377.91, which means we had a positive 98.91 difference there. Beauty did not change. That's cash. Health minus like 46 cents. Holidays minus $45. Um, we bought stuff for Thanksgiving dinner. We didn't host, but we did attend two. So. That's where that went. We bought a turkey and some other stuff for sides. Clothing was minus $8. And that's the net effect. Obviously, we spent more than $8 in clothing this month, but that's the net effect. Tattoos did not change. Furniture did not change. Birthdays went up by 10 Books went down by 40 We actually went to see uh, Christopher Palloweeny. I don't know if that's how you say his last name. Please forgive me for butchering that. Um, but he wrote The Inheritance Cycle, so the Aragon books. We actually went and got our copy of The Fork, the Witch, and the Worm signed by him. Um, we went to his on his like book tour that he did for Murtag. Uh, so we got a copy of Murtag. We didn't get to get that signed, but we did get the copy of The Fork, the Witch, and the Worm. So I might include a little picture up here of meeting him. It was really cool. He was really cool, so that was a good fun thing that we were able to do. Um, we actually took from travel. A little bit for that which that's what it's there for so it was a good experience i 10 out of 10 recommend um budgeting we didn't spend anything travel we did spend nine dollars that was for refreshments while we were there because we were there for hours um we ran out of the water we brought <laughs> christmas we haven't spent anything yet um well okay we have but it's technically in december's budget so as of this budget we have not spent anything lemons i'm not going to change this month because i still need to figure out how to transfer everything and until it's all in one place it's not so we're going to leave that alone say that didn't change house we spent what four dollars and 33 cents okay 
and that's a net of course anniversary we added ten dollars uh, our anniversary is in october so we have plenty of time to save up for that and auto registration did not change so if i add all of these up it should also give me this so we have 277 plus 119.82 plus 377.91 and these are all a mixture of cash and non-cash savings accounts so anything that's rounded basically is going to be cash because I don't keep around the change um, but if it's electronic I don't see the reason to round off the change because it's just going to get lost in the ether and I do a buffer every month anyway make sure that's still there so and I'm not trying to build it actively right now, so I'm not too worried about it. So we're just adding all these up. 67 plus 18 plus 115. Whoop. All right, so now we have $5,737.94. Yeah, $5,737.94. So if we subtract that from $5,637, that gives us a difference of positive $194. And listen, a positive is always a good thing. So those are our sinking funds as it stands at the end of the month. Um, and that is actually the wrap up for our November budget. We had a great time this month um, with all of our sinking funds. These binders really helped me keep in check. I don't know if you can see them, these binders. So if you don't have a binder system in place, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I find these so helpful for keeping track. Um, so if you have any questions about getting that set up or anything, let me know. I could do a binder setup video. I need to redo mine anyway. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see that. Um, I may do it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that is the month end wrap up for November. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.